What's going on everybody? New Silver Sacker here and thank you so much for tuning in to a new video. Guys, today we're going to be talking about a few different things. First off, I went and bought some silver at my LCS for the first time in what? A month or two? It's been a while, I'm not sure. But I bought this new kind of silver, not new kind, but I bought this type of silver that I'll probably be buying a lot more of if not only buying this silver. Uh, I'm not, I have a new stacking strategy. We'll probably talk about it in a different video. Um, but anyways, we went and bought some silver. I went and asked my LCS to do a YouTube video with me. And we're also going to talk about how new silver stackers and even experienced silver stackers are can potentially get robbed um, in ways to avoid it. Um, there's a big way you can get robbed, and we'll talk about it in a minute. So anyways, I went to my LCS yesterday looking to buy some silver, and I also decided I want to ask him if he wants to do an interview. So we went down there, and you know I was looking at silver. I was like, okay, here's our... And by the way, we'll, sh we'll show the silver in just a minute. Um, I found what I wanted, and then I brought it up. I said, hey, you know, do you want to do a YouTube video? You know, you can show off some silver if you want. We can do an interview or whatever you want. You know, I just think it'd be fun. And because I love my LCS, it's great. And he's a good guy. But anyways, uh, he just said, no, I do not want to do that. He said, matter of fact, lots of people have asked me to do interviews um, all the time. And I was surprised. I was like, okay, I didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't know anybody would ever ask you, maybe a couple people. Um, but he said a long time ago, years ago, he said he did do a YouTube video with someone and um, it brought in a lot of good customers, but also a lot of bad customers. And overall, he just said he'd rather just get his normal, natural customers coming in as the, you know, coming in naturally. Um, he said promoting it's not worth it. He doesn't want all the silver he has, um, especially if he has like, like I don't know, you know. Imagine, imagine he showed off something rare, you know, something so rare it's worth hundreds of thousands. I, I, I don't know if he has anything worth that much, but let's just say, you know, obviously that puts him at a high risk for being robbed. Now. Obviously, if, if you were to ever get robbed, I'm sure that wouldn't work out too well for the robber. I'm not going to say why on YouTube, but but I'm sure you know why. Maybe. maybe. He's got plenty of security, let's say. But anyways, um, so he said, no, I was like, okay, you know, that's understandable. You, you, you don't want to risk it. because." And then he told me um, there was a coin shop owner that he knows in a different state who did it, who did an interview with someone, and he ended up getting followed home and robbed. Uh, for all, for or no, he got followed to a store or something, and he got robbed, cleaned out everything he owned, every piece of silver and gold he owned, gone completely, which is just completely insane. Because you know, if I were to get robbed for everything I have, it's, it's not that big of a hit. If someone ever robs me, we'll have fun with that because I don't have much silver or or gold at all. Um, but for an LCS owner, that's probably hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of dollars worth of silver gone. Um, so anyways, I was like, okay, I understand, you know, so we, we, we started talking for about a half hour, 45 minutes, and, um, we started talking about, uh, how to safely store silver, how to not get robbed, and he brought it up, which I really want to let you guys know, this is very important, doesn't matter if you're new or old, but I think this mainly is towards newer stackers, but everyone should hear this. If someone ever asked me if I would meet them in person to buy or sell silver, I would say no. I don't care who you are, no, I don't care how much we've talked. I don't care if it's Patriotic Stacker. I mean, actually, maybe I'd probably trust Patriotic Stacker or say Metalhead Stacker or my other friends. Um, but that's because we talk on the daily. But for 99.99% of you guys, don't, I'm not gonna meet with you ever. I've had, I've, I have had someone meet with me and nothing against that person, but I, I just, I'm not going to do it. We don't know each other. I would expect the same thing from you. You know, if I told you to meet with me, I wouldn't meet with me. You know, it's just not worth it. I'm not, I'm not going to rob you, but how do you know, right? How, how do you know that person is not going to rob you? You don't know. Especially if you're buying silver and you're bringing cash or the other way around, you could get completely screwed over within seconds. Now, let's say you have to do it. Let's say you don't have an LCS. You, for some reason, let's imagine like... You, you're just like metalhead stacker and you don't have like any cards or i don't know i, I don't think metalhead stacker buys online or he's i don't know something weird metalhead uh that freaking guy um but anyways let's say you can't buy online or anything right um don't have an lcs you don't have a way to buy except for private and you meet up on facebook if you ever do that first thing you got to do right first thing to do before meeting up with someone in person um ask for references of other people i'd say 
at least three, I'd say at least three references um, of people who have actually met up with him in person recently for bigger purchases or medium-sized purchases. Um, next thing I would do, I would meet in a public place, maybe at an LCS. I guess if I guess you can if you don't have an LCS. Um, but if you do an LCS, uh, right in front of a Walmart, not in the back of the parking lot, right in front. Um, I think you get the idea. Somewhere where there's a lot of people walking in and out constantly. Next thing, make sure you bring, you know, I don't know if I can say this without getting demonetized, but I think you know what I mean. Boom, boom, boom. Um, gun. I, I'll just say, I don't really care. A uh, gun. Um, make sure you bring that. And, it, and the next thing I would do, last thing, 100% bring at least one or two people with guns with you and have them sit in a car that's not by you just kind of across from you watching just to be safe you know if you're just buying a half dollar then whatever i guess you know if you get robbed you get robbed but at the same time you don't want to die but the point is take the precautions don't be an idiot preferably don't even meet in person um especially if they're like oh yeah i can get you a gold a gold eagle for spot price just say no thank you I, you know that's not even worth it especially if you don't know the person just don't even do that uh preferably just don't meet in person ever but if you do, take those precautions, please. Uh, okay, so I guess I guess that's about it. Um, so let's go ahead and show off some silver real quick. Okay, so I haven't bought in months. I didn't go buy a lot. As you guys know, I don't buy much silver whenever I go buy stuff. But I got some junk silver, and I got a little surprise. I didn't even know I had this. Um, check this out. Move all that. So, okay, I'll just show you what we got. So we got... So I decided... We don't have many quarters. That's literally all the quarters I have right there. That's all the quarters I've got. So I was like, okay, first off, we need some quarters. So I went and got four quarters. He let me pick them out. So I got a, some decent ones, and then I just started grabbing whatever because, I don't know. I don't want to pick, and th pick through them. As long as they're not coals, I don't really care. Um, okay. And then next thing, I was like, okay, I love dimes. You know, I used to hate dimes, but now I love them. We've got a tube full. This is probably $5 something. It's, it's over $5, I'm, I guarantee that. And then we've got this one, which is almost full. So like, okay, so let's get a dollar face in dimes. And this is where the surprise comes in. So he said it's $2.50 each for barber dimes and uh, $21 per dollar face for Roosevelt. So basically $25 uh, per dollar face for Mercury's. I think I, I think I said something else, but Mercury's and uh, $21 face for Roosevelt. But anyways, he, he let me choose them out. And this is right when I asked him if he wanted to do YouTube. So I just started picking them out and counting them. I wasn't even looking at them really. I was just making sure they weren't all dirty. Um, and look, I didn't even know I grabbed that. And maybe he slipped it in. I mean, there is 10. There is 10, so I don't, I don't have 11. But, and, I, and I didn't see him slip it out, so I'm guessing this was in there, and somehow it went unnoticed between me and him. I don't know. That's kind of funny, though. So we, got a, so we got a little bit extra, and then the last thing I got was my first 90% Kennedy, because as you guys know, I do love my 40% silver. We're going to have to do another video on why I love it. Um, but I've got plenty of these 40% Kennedys. But I don't have any... 90%. So here's what we're going to do real quick. Got to grab out the old trusty ping tester. By the way, if you guys want, I, I've had a lot of people ask me that this last week, where do you get this? I have a link in the description. And for this video, I will also put it in the comment section where you can buy them. They're really cheap and they're extremely useful. I absolutely love it. Um, sure, you can just ping with your finger, but then I didn't mean to do that. You might drop it. I don't know. The, in my opinion, the pink tester is worth it. It goes right between these two rubber grips. But anyways, if you want one, link is in the description. Yes, I do make money, but no, it does not charge you anything extra. Um, I had no intentions of making money off this until I used it. And I was like, okay, yeah, I, I would love to promote this. But anyways, let's try it. So this is the 40% silver. Ready? I'll, I'm going to hold up to my mic. Do it one more time so you guys can see how it works if you don't know already. Okay. Next up, 90%. I picked one of the better ones out of there. I really like this one. I need more Kennedys. I have everything. I have the Columbus Expo. I, I have everything, but not Kennedys. 
There we go. You know, I do love how 40% sounds, but this half dollar just doesn't sound the greatest. And yes, I understand it might sound a little bit different with the pink tester. But who cares? Yeah, they both got really different sounds. But anyways, this one has a little bit of a higher pitch sound, it sounds like. But anyways, there you go. There's the 90% candidate I got. Finally have one. I've been wanting one forever. See, we have... Dang it. We have Benji's, Walker's. Let's see, what else do we got? We got some Colombian thing. Uh, we have the Columbus Expo, which is cool. And then just more walkers. And now we have everything, except for like early 1800 stuff. Anything else I'm missing, guys? Any other cool things like the Columbus Expo? Let me know. Um, but guys, that's basically it for now. So we added $2 face to the, or er, $2.50 face to the stack today. And I am very happy with it. Now, I'm going to be buying a lot more junk silver. Yes, I know. At $21 face, that means it costs about... $29 per ounce, which is crazy. That's as much as a Silver Eagle. Uh, will I buy some Silver Eagles? Eagles? I might buy a couple. N not a bunch, though. Um, but there is a reason I am buying a lot of junk silver uh, for the rest of the year, probably. I'll, I'll buy some rounds here and there and some coins, obviously. But I'm going to be buying a ton of junk for the rest of the year. Um, I'll talk about that in a different video. It, it, it's already been 11 minutes. I'll let you guys go on with your day. Um, but stay tuned for the next video and I will talk about why I will only be buying junk silver and why that'll be very beneficial to my stacking strategy and why I think it's such a good idea even though it's a very high premium. Okay guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in today, everyone. Oh, one more thing. Shout out to the coin guy. The, the coin guy is a platinum uh, level channel member. If you want to become a channel member, Click the join button down below or the link in the description. But shout out to you, Coin Guy. I really appreciate you and all my other channel members. Um, if, if you're if you're not a channel member and don't you don't want to become one, that's okay too. If you wouldn't mind, just subscribe and like the video. You, you don't even have to like it. Just subscribe and I'll be happy. But anyways, guys, everyone, that's it. Have a great day.